So for today, we're going to update or rather we're going to reconstruct the way the controller is uh, seated on the bike. So as you can see here, the controller is placed just beneath the what's this? Uh, the bottom of this frame. The problem with this one is that sometimes it would hit my knee and it's quite having a sharp border so try to remove this one from this frame and put it inside this uh, saddle bag so try to use this one to place this controller in the saddle bag so hopefully it will fit nicely and we'll place it here maybe in that position and see how it goes okay. so we'll start off by removing battery also as you can see here the battery is much closer to the controller So I tried to put a, some kind of a waterproof uh, tape here. So this is a handlebar tape for a road bike. So just to make sure that it won't get wet during uh, rainy days. So we'll also try to use this one later. After we remove all these things. So done removing all the cables. Next thing to do is flatten this out. This one. And also on the other side here. So that it will fit on this saddle bag. Okay, so simply tearing it on the sides. Okay, but first I need to put a hole in here 
to expose all the wires here Okay, let's try to use the soldering iron to make a hole here. Hopefully it will be good. Okay, that's good. So I'm just uh, putting in a small hole here because I'm only be uh, putting out the cable for the motor controller and the pedal assist sensor. So uh, I'll just cover the rest of the cables. to install the saddlebag we need these clips here so the bag slips on this one to this holder and this one is screwed on the, on the saddle at the back Finish. And then this is how it looks when saddle bag with a controller inside. Uh, rewiring with a uh, handlebar tape for a road bike. Okay.